Welcome to America with an accent. No, I'm not hosting another show, but I am in a new set because I'm pleased to announce that New Americans Media, in collaboration with KPAO, a public access television, is launching an ethnic cooking show, Spice and Recipe, the Origins of Flavor. And to talk about the show, I have invited the host of the show, a very familiar name for the Omaha area, and hopefully soon for the United States and the world, Mike DiGiacomo. Hello, how are you? It's great to be here. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me in your set. No, I feel right at home here. This is how I spend my Sundays, is usually cooking in my kitchen. So this is a very familiar place all for right, me. All right. And we're gonna get some of the onions, my favorite cooking ingredient with garlic. Okay. And we'll, we'll touch on that later. Well, yes, and I did put a little bit of touch from my culture there, the lemon. The lemon, yeah, yeah, the lemon. yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, all right, Mike, uh, as I mentioned, you're familiar, you are uh, a, a name and face that people here in Omaha know about you, but tell me a little bit, uh, a bit about yourself. Well, well, yeah, first I started in TV in the late 90s mm -hmm. in Lincoln, Nebraska, in television news, and okay. then I came up to Omaha, and then I had a TV show, uh, a morning show for eight years in Omaha, and uh, the, my favorite parts of that were the cooking segments, so it was perfect, but I grew up in Omaha, went to Omaha Central, University of Nebraska, and uh, my family um, on my dad's side is Italian, and so Immigrants are part of the connection that I have All with right. the show. So, the, the Giacomo, right? The Giacomo, From Italy. yep. Which part of Italy? Sicily. Sicily. Yeah, a small town called Carlentini is okay. where my family's from. All right. Well, Sicily, I, I, I guess you have a lot of recipes and you inherit from your family. I have quite tell a few. Me, yeah, tell me a little about uh, why did this project appeal to you? I understand that the cooking, but you're inviting immigrants. You are inviting people like me that speak with an accent mm -hmm. and they're showcasing recipes from their own countries. Why did this project appeal to you? This is what I love. I mean, there's so many different flavors from around the world come together. That's what makes uh, the United States so great is because it's not just cheeseburgers and French fries, right? There's spices and ingredients and different flavors from every country that brings it all together. And you have this melting pot of of food and ingredients and flavors. It's just, it's fantastic. It's its 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 gonna be a great show. So it appeals to you a lot. Then. Love it, yeah. All right. Well, I have noticed myself though, because when, uh, when I was in Albania, I was not a good cook. Mm -hmm. However, when I came over, it was a combination of longing for my country or for my food, and I started to cook some Albanian food. So you're right when you say that immigrants there, and they just don't relocate here, but yeah. they bring their food and their recipes. What, what should we expect in your show? Well, I think you, touch on a very good point because you do have immigrants that aren't necessarily cooks back home or wouldn't consider them cooks or chefs, but they come here with their recipes that they've grown up with uh, and then they want to share them with people here. So then they kind of get back to their roots, right? And uh, not only that, but I, and you'll see in this season of shows, you'll, you'll hear from immigrants that they come here, they become American citizens or uh, they, they have families here and have kids here who are American and they want to share those recipes with their families, with okay. their kids and um, to help their, their family get back to the roots of where they came from. It's really, it's really cool. Okay, Mike, you're born here. Yeah. Are you first generation born here? I'm second generation. Second My dad was first. Well, yeah. your dad was first, right? Uh, mom, is mom from Italy too? She's not, no. She She's not. from a farm in Tecama. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, <laughs> tell me this one. Did you preserve the Italian culture in your family, in your, in your, where, where you come from? Oh or? yeah, for sure. I, and, and, you know, we still have a lot of family in Italy. We have family in Carlentini, Sicily, uh, outside of um, uh, Milan, outside of uh, uh, Rome. So we still have uh, contact with a lot of the family back there. But also it, when it comes to cooking and um, religion and um, just uh, some of the Italian heritage, I, we still incorporate that. I'm very involved in the Italian community here yes, in Omaha. Yes, yes, you are. And right? um, so, because it, the Italian com community is rather large here. In it's the, it's in, in it's Omaha, significant. Right? It's not like New York City, but it is in Omaha. It's pretty significant. There were 5,000 Italians that immigrated here in in the early. 1900s and it's grown over the years obviously so there's a significant Italian presence here. I am very pleased to hear what you're saying because I am afraid that my kids will lose their uh, their sure. kids of two immigrants and yeah. it's so diluted right now. Yeah. What do you think is your connection to Italy stronger than your dad's? How does it go with the generation? That's a great point because I have seen this and, and you'll see on this season when you, we talk to some of the people who've come on here to cook you know the the first generation um, people who are in the United States maybe don't have as strong of a tie as um, you know maybe their parents who came from their home country mm -hmm. and and it's the kids who you oftentimes see have that 
longing to figure out where they came from, right? I think the first generation um, Americans just want to assimilate and be Americans, right? But then you see a, a lot of their kids that want to get back, and their grandkids that want to get back to the old school, uh, old country. Are you giving your culture or are you transmitting your culture to your kids? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Can you, can you share something about your family? Well, not only food, but we're very involved with the Santa Lucia Italian Festival okay. here in Omaha, and my kids are very involved as well. Okay. You know, they go and they participate, they help uh, make pizza, they help do all these things, and uh, so you just pass it down to the next generation. So they call themselves Italians? They Italian do. Italian American? They do. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for my mom's side because they're Irish German. We don't talk about that side as much, <laughs> but, but the Italian side we do a little the bit Italian more. Italian is there. Yeah. Now, uh, how many how many shows are we expecting to see in this season? Fourteen shows, and we're going around the world. Yes, we're tell talking a bit Europe, about Asia. Uh, we're doing Italy, of course. We're going to start with Italy. <laughs> okay. Bore. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get to the recipe. All right, so what we're going to do today, now we're going to make pasta con sarde, which this represents Sicily so much. Because why? We have a lot of fennel growing everywhere. Don't See? be selfish. Share it with everybody. Share it and share the food and share the fennel. We're going to go everywhere. We have some French recipes. We have um, um, some uh, Thai recipes. I mean, we, it runs a gamut. I mean, we're going to go all over the world. It's going to be fun. Now, Mike, I know that you have a soft spot for Italy, mm -hmm. but if there is a country in the world that you want to taste the food, what is that country? Wow, that's amazing. I really like Thai food. Thai food? I like Thai all food, right. yeah. And so, the ingredients are so unique. There's a lot of spice. There's a lot of flavor spice and recipe and Thai I think really represents that. Okay and uh, whenever you're gonna have somebody from New Zealand can I please be, be with you? Yes All New right. Zealand what kind of food do they make? I don't know, but it's just so <laughs> exotic. That country yes. has always appealed to me. We gotta find me. somebody from New Zealand to come on and cook. All right. So when is the first show? Do you do we know when when it premieres? Yes, Monday, March fifteenth. We're prime time, baby. Seven o'clock at night, uh, Monday night. So set your uh, set your calendars for seven o'clock. Hi, I'm Mike DiGiacomo, a born and raised American and a food lover. And I invite you to join me as we discover the origins of flavor, the journey of spices, and the recipes of the world. The second generation uh, American, yeah. Italian American, Mike DiGiacomo, returns to TV, will be in your living room and in your kitchen. Please make sure to check, uh, to check kpao.org, the website, because it's going to air on Monday, March 15th at 7 p.m., but will re-air during the week as well. Also, don't forget to check newamericansmedia.com because it will premiere online at newamericansmedia.com. All right. Well, thank you, Mike. Thank you. And no. uh, it's going to be a good season, guys. Yeah, so good in. luck and good luck. <laughs>